Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name is Tanya and I'm addicted to jewelry. If you didn't know and you haven't been here before, hello and welcome. And thank you for coming over. I got a whole bunch of new subscribers and I do appreciate you watching. Um, look, have a happy day everybody. I am... I decided not to go out shopping this morning because I went out yesterday <laughs> and um, I bought a lot of jewelry and I'm going to show you right now what I got. So from one location, um, yeah, I spent a lot of money yesterday, uh, but I got some beautiful uh, cloisonne bangles. Oh yeah, I got a little box right here, I forgot. I also got this one, which is sterling silver, uh, made in Italy. It's like a, almost like a rose gold. It needs to be cleaned. It's a little tarnished, but cleaned up deadly. Beautiful. Then I got, let's get it all where I got it from. Oh, I didn't mean to move my camera. <laughs> okay. Ba -da -ba -da. And if you are new here and haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's free to subscribe. And um, it's another way to support the channel. And be sure and leave me a comment in this video and let me know uh, what your favorite thing was. And yeah, before you leave, hit that like button. Uh, this is Crown Trafari, I think. <laughs> it's a very large leaf and it's very pretty. I got a whole bunch of... Um, this one is Crown Trafari. This one is Crown Trafari. This one is Crown Trafari. <laughs> These are milk glass. And let's see what else. I got this one which is by Vendome it does need a little um, little love inside of here a little little straightening out a little, maybe a little cleaning and then I got I got these which are by what does it say Laguna and they're just little little dangly crystally pink clip-on earrings and they are super cute um, I bought this little crown oh yeah I forgot about this um, well I bought this uh, I'm not sure. It looks like, uh, I see right there. It's plated. Um, you can see that whole little section right there has peeled off that plating. Uh, but that's really cool. It's, well, I guess it's an S if you wear it like that or yeah, it's an, I guess it's an S, or it's just a swirly. It was cute. I don't know. Don't know why I got it, because I just did. Um, that was just a really beautiful brooch. Um, then this is uh, Hattie Carnegie. I was quite surprised, but yes. Uh, very brutalist looking um, Hattie Carnegie and there it is right there then I found this now since I have brought this home two of these have fallen off and I tell you look at this glue That glue is so old, it just, uh, it came right apart from that and that. I had that happen to me the other day. 
I bought these. I'll share. Uh, they're milk glass. I uh, long dome uh, with like a diamond pattern all the way around it. They're amazing. I was at an estate sale probably 20 years ago and I went to pay for them. No, I, I was like, how much are these? That's right. And the lady said, uh, I think she said $4 or $5 or maybe it was six. And I said, I'll take them. And she said, do you want me to put them up front for you? And I said, okay. Well, do you know when she picked up the box to take it, they rolled together and one of them, one of the dome, one of the glass things split completely in half. I was so upset. But anyways, I took them anyways and I super glued them. But they've been hanging outside for, I'm not kidding you, 20 years. I decided to take them down, clean them, and put them in my bedroom. And right after I hung it, the one that I glued together, I was, I was just turning the thing up there to make sure it was hanging just right. And I had my hand underneath it, thank God, because both pieces came apart and the glue looked just like that. It wasn't sticking to the top and it wasn't sticking to the bottom. And my hand was there to catch it, and thank God. So I was able to re-glue the whole thing and... You'll never know, unless you get real up close and personal. Anyway, I had to share that story. <laughs> oh, um, this is the most beautiful cloisonne necklace. Look at these flowers. So pretty. And this clasp right here, that is so cool. I love it. Love this one. Look at the flowers. Beautiful. Oops, that's really nice. Oh, so anyways, um, yeah, the one that had the uh, the bracelet with the little problems. I, I'll fix it. I'll clean it. But it also had clip-on earrings. Hmm? How about that? How about that? Then there was this beautiful bracelet. Just amazing. And I didn't give this to my son yet, but I, I was going to give this to my son because he collects glass hearts. And I think he would love that. And then I got this. Um, oh, you don't belong over there. You were over here. I picked up this. This is ivory. You can see that cross hatching here. And very much so on the inside. Um, and rather than, I mean, I knew what this was, and it's in beautiful condition. It was made back in the, it's very sad stuff, um, but it exists in the wild, and yeah. Then there was this, sorry, um, my TV is on a commercial break, <laughs> temporary. That says Sterling right there, and this is Tiger's Eye beads, and it's very long, beautiful, really nice clasp, and then sticking with that same kind of thing, same Sterling clasp, and cinnabar beads I just kind of love that I just kind of love that ever since I was a child uh, I, I was going to go live but someone else is live right now so um, I didn't want to take people away from that sale 
so I thought I would just do a video <laughs> real quick and um, I hope I can keep you uh, entertained enough to stick around till the end because I've got some amazing things to share um, I did find all of these uh, this is these are labradorite beads um, I believe this is citrine and Oh, there was two strands of the most beautiful garnet. Uh, these are gorgeous. Oh, and speaking of garnet, um, I thought I would take this very large garnet here in the raw and do a really nice, thick... I, I try to get it as big as I can. I, I'm going to slice it in half and then... Um, do a nice cab and I can use these beads on either side and yeah set that in sterling silver and use sterling findings and that'll be awesome I like that okay so that's what I'm going to do with that let me put these over here I also got this um from there and this is beautiful what is all that big fuzz um jasper jasper <laughs> it's gorgeous it's beautiful or spacious guys oh yeah there was three bags of these um quartz And they are square and faceted quartz. So, I so said, yeah, I better get those too. I had the pleasure of picking through a um, bunch of stuff and getting whatever the heck I wanted. And uh, I always like those. <laughs> I might have a nice pick coming up too real soon. Oh, and to go with this bangle, I also got these, uh, which are also ivory and they are clip-on earrings these actually have a name do they oh they're done in silver <laughs> it says silver on the back okay i got these These are just beautiful and sparkly and yes, and I know a lot of you can't stand me uh, to continue to say forgive me for my hands. <laughs> I've been saying it since day one for almost three years now. Uh, yeah, I'm an artist, so my hands are constantly in something and it's spring here in California and my hands are in the dirt all the time. I'm digging in the dirt. Uh, and I've been on a buffing wheel, um, grinding wheel, uh, yeah, grinding, sanding. Funny thing, never seen this brooch in my life. And I've been collecting jewelry, uh, or buying and selling jewelry now. Um, I collected for three years, four years before I ever, maybe three years solid that I collected before I started selling. And anyhow never saw this brooch before and I found one and sold it just two weeks ago and I ran across another one yesterday it's Elizabeth Taylor by Avon and it's beautiful gorgeous enamel with this opal glass and the pearls and somebody must be my son um, I found this sterling ring. I uh, don't even want to. I don't know. This is a sterling bracelet, which is really cool. It's mixed metal. Hello. And it's a really cute bracelet. I like that one a little cha cha. Do you know what I mean? 
this here is awfully cute too. Um, yeah, so I'm a reseller. If you are here and you're new to my channel, I'm a reseller. I kind of shop all week and then I have a live sale on Sundays. I usually share what I get throughout the week um, and bring those items to my live sale on Sunday evenings. If you were curious, I, I don't sell. Um, I get a lot of requests and emails um, about individual items that they've seen in a video and so I just wanted to clear that up with you all uh, yeah a lot of uh, most of what I've shown in the past if you're looking at my past videos those things are gone um, and now we're going to move on to these things that's kind of how I roll if you didn't know and you are new here um, so these are awesome. I found these yesterday. These are marked J.S. Sterling something. Uh, Taxco 925. Look at those. They are very, very cool. They're um, screw back earrings and I just thought those were really neat. I also found these. I thought these were pretty darn cool, too. Uh, they do need to be cleaned up a bit, but they, they're they meant to be blackened and silver, uh, but not tarnished that much. I think, uh, yeah, they could stay like that, but I think I would, I'm going to clean those, I think. Then I found this nice little sterling bracelet, which is very cool. And it's got some name on there. I don't know. Maybe I'll tell you. Oh, it's got a lot to say. Oh, Danecraft, Italy. Okay. Nine two five. That's what it says. I picked these up last week sometime, and I don't think I ever shared them with you. They were just little amber sterling lever backs. Oh no, I just dropped one. Um, and then I got these yesterday too. These are sterling, um, what are they signed? T925 something. And they appear to be some form of turquoise. And then, oh and then. Um, well, it, there was just a little sterling. I love the little star because look at the little moons and stars in it. And it's a puffy. It's so cute. <laughs> it's super cute. Oh, my back just went. Poof. Okay, the, these are Christian Dior. Beautiful. Beautiful Christian Dior. Then, oh then, I don't know which ones to show you first. There was these. These are Chinese export. Absolutely fantastic. 1930s to 1940s, somewhere right in there. Carnelian, silver, enamel, screw back, beautiful. I've never seen the ear. I've never seen earrings like this. I've found quite a few uh, bracelets and bracelets. Just bracelets, I think. I don't think I've ever seen earrings. Uh, these are just fantastic. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, look at that. Oh my. Wow, what a find. Those are those are just amazing. Then there was these. <laughs> oh my gosh, hello. Um these are vintage crown trafari and they are just fantastic. They do um swing here. They are signed on the stem, Crown Trafari, and they are just amazing. 
uh, carnelian glass and jade glass and faux pearls and rhinestones and what these are just phenomenal I knew right away when I saw those I was like oh going in bam uh, I knew they had to be someone good because they're made so well um, they're just fantastic Okay, now if we back up to Sunday, no, that estate sale started on Friday. Saturday uh, on 420, me and my daughter went out uh, to a block sale, big block sale, and we decided to go back to that estate sale. <laughs> and I purchased these on Saturday. In my video, I show them twice. I picked them up twice and set them down. And I was so hoping they were still there. And they were. These are the biggest uh, clip-on earrings, quite frankly, that I've ever seen. What a statement. Look at me now. Um, and these are awesome. Uh, they're Egyptian Revival. Look at the scarab. And all the... Oh, just, just amazing. Bam! <laughs> that woman had such style. Okay, moving on. Oh, no, and I also had picked this up. Uh, and I just never, I just never showed it. I never, I forgot all about it. Quite frankly, um, it's signed Swarovski on the back here of that clasp. If I could flip it around. Um, it says Swarovski right there. And it comes down to this beautiful uh, pave set stone. And again, Swarovski there. But that was really pretty. I'd forgotten to show you that. But these, oh my. Oh my. Okay. Moving on. Then I saw Shalina. Shalina. I thought I was just um, giving her her, uh, her most recent um, acquisition from my uh, last auction last week. Um, however... <laughs> I ended up shopping like a mad woman. Uh, this is just really beautiful moss agate. Look at that. It looks like a stinking tree. Oh my gosh. Upside down. That's like the tree of life. That's beautiful. Beautiful slice of ma mass agate. Moss agate. I gotta hang these as I go. I got this one here which is signed... Um, R. Bennett Sterling. R. Bennett Sterling. And it is on a sterling chain. And it is the most beautiful colored turquoise. Very pretty. Really nice piece. I don't know what's going on with my lighting here. I feel like something's messing up. Hang on one second. Like there's too much shadowing happening. I don't get it. I don't get it. Is that any better? Okay. What else? I got this. This is glass, but this is absolutely beautiful. It is purple, faceted glass, knotted in between, and it's in pristine condition. And I just thought it was really, really pretty. You're not seeing it. Well, you kind of can see the light going through there. 
very, very deep, deep purple. But speaking of deep purple, look at this one. Uh, this is sterling silver and amethyst. Faceted, gorgeous uh, bracelet. Yeah, it is. It is marked sterling there. Yeah. And then I also got this one, which is also on sterling silver. Then we can go with some bracelets. I got this bracelet here, which is sterling. Oh, what's the design on there? Call this uh, Native American. Is that upside down? I'm not sure. Anyways, um, I don't know what that stone is, uh, but I loved all this hand done work. It's just um, really awesome. And I said, Yes, thank you, Shalina. Thank you, Shalina. And I gladly bought that from her. And I also got this one here, which is just beautifully done. I love that piece of turquoise in there. It's gorgeous. Um, and this one. Just super pretty. Love the twisted. Uh, just a real simple. I mean, this is very wearable. Like, I could wear this if I can get it on my wrist. <laughs> it's very, very wearable. Just, yeah, I might leave that on. Maybe I'll throw on a ring that matches. I like it a lot. This actually came from um, the other batch. I just had it thrown on this tray. Uh, this is, I believe this is all sterling. It's got all the right hallmarks in there. It's got the eagle mark with a three. Um, and everything else is so, like, worn. Or just not legible, really. If you see what I'm saying there. And I'm assuming it's silver. Um, I, and I will test it because there's a lot of this sort of thing that is not silver. It's like an alpaca, but there's some really cool figures in here and um, animals. And what are you? What on earth is that? Who knows? Huh. <laughs> How about you? Anyhow. Yeah. So, okay. That was from that batch. And I need to scooch all this stuff over because everything else I'm going to put in here is from Shalina. Okay. Oh, yeah. These go in there, too. This beautiful rose-cut garnet ring. Just absolutely beautiful. Uh, that is the band, and that is how it's put together. Gorgeous ring. I think I had this on my size 7. Yeah. Very, very pretty. Thank you, Shalina. And then, okay, you guys are taking off again? Okay. Drive safely. I love you. Thank you. Uh, this is also from Shalina. Well, this the rest of this is from Shalina. This is sterling silver and just beautifulness. I really like that. I sold a necklace kind of similar to that style recently. Oh, I, there was this cha-cha bracelet. Um coins and it's awesome now this one here this big one on this end this is 90% silver this big huge one here um, 
Um, but the rest are just not a precious metal, but they're very cool. A uh, bunch of old coins. And let me give you a name on this because the bracelet itself has a name. Money jewelry. <laughs> it says money jewelry right there on that little, on this little tag. Where'd it go? That's so cute. Money jewelry. Right there. Or maybe it was on the other side. Okay. I'm pretty sure, now this has happened to me many a times over, and I'm almost convinced now that I sold this to Shalina. <laughs> it is sterling silver bench beads, and it comes down to this amazing shadow box, sterling turquoise, and I think I bought it back. <laughs> um, not just one item, but I think there's two items in here. No, maybe it was just this one item. No. And I think this as well. I think I sold Shalina this uh, recently and I just purchased it back. <laughs> I've done that with Kim quite a bit or Kim's bought. Yeah, Kim's bought from me and I've bought it back. Mm -hmm. Yep. A lot of times. I haven't seen Kim in a minute. I, I mean, I saw her out at the swap meet. Uh, the last time I, I went out there, uh, last weekend, but yeah, she's, I haven't, uh, I haven't connected with her. Oh, did I not show you this yet? But I guess I will. <laughs> um, I found this, uh, well, I didn't find it. I, I purchased this from Shalina and it's fantastic. It's all sterling silver and... the stone here um so i don't know what that stone is i remember selling two rings with the same stone um, and i believe someone had said it's a type of opal or it had some sort of an opal classification i don't know if that is true but then i I saw another example online and they called it something else. Uh, so I'm not sure. Uh, but these are bench beads. This is the right clasp. It's got the amazing bench beads on there. And oh, did I just see a signature? Yes, I sure did. Um, K, I don't know. I just found a signature right there. Uh, what, what do you guys think that says? Huh. Anyways, it was beautiful. And um, I said, yeah, I'll take that, Shalina. <laughs> I like that. Dag nabbit, why did that spin around like that? Okay, that's better. Isn't that fantastic? Just amazing. Love it. Love it. Then there was this one. This is also solid sterling silver. Um, it's been tested and verified, but uh, the chain is sterling. The ball beads are sterling. These cubes are sterling. And this is just a really, really cool, cool necklace. I like that a lot. I also got this from Shalina. Um, this is a beautiful, it's some designer. I don't remember. It is sterling um, vermeil. Italian. It's got a really nice name on there. I can't remember. I look at so much jewelry. I just don't have time. 
I, I just don't have time to do a lot of research because I'm just on the go, 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 go. Give myself excuses. Oh my gosh. So I got this from Shalina too. I thought this was the most interesting thing. This is 925. Look at this. That little cherub baby is like making out with her. <laughs> A human woman. Um, passionate kiss. Just wild. I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. Interesting. Very interesting, I thought. Um, well, there's a tag on there, but there's no price. But this is a beautiful cross with moonstone. There was a lot of nice blue flash in there. Let's see. Let's see if we can share some of that blue flash. There you see it. Beautiful. Nice cross. Um, I got a few pairs of earrings. Those are just really cool little Kachina dolls. And then these beautiful long dangle garnets. Earrings. Those are very, very pretty. Really nice design. I really like those. Um, and then I have these beautiful things here. Again, with the uh, moonstone, sterling silver drops. Gosh, I'm so monotone. I'm just going through it and getting done and trying to... Um, yeah, get on with my day because I have lots to do. I have to go to the post office and ship everybody's uh, packages off. So thank you all so much for participating Sunday. And your package will be in the mail. Um, these are blue topaz and those are just a really neat design. Um, I, I really like these types of earrings. Um, they've got a really nice look on the ears. This here is an awesome, really neat uh, sterling silver and garnet bracelet. It's so pretty, so deep red, just gorgeous. Love that. And that nice clasp there. I don't even know what it's marked or where it's marked or what, or what, or what, what, what. That was an earring. Guess what? Mm -mm. It's going to be a ring. I'm turning that horse into a ring. That's going to be an amazing ring. You see it? Same. This was um, one cufflink. It's going to be a ring. I see it. I saw it. I see it. I saw it. Then there was this. Oh my, this is, um, I think Jason said this is Chinese. Um, it's solid sterling silver. It's a torque. Just kind of step it on like that. And uh, you could add something like this to it that I also got from Shalina. And I think that gives it a really nice look. Boy, you can feel this necklace. It's heavy. I can't wear heavy things. I mean, this thing is, my gosh. I, I can't even tell you how heavy that is. It's solid, and it's pretty stinking amazing. And I love that you can, you could actually put a nice, um, you know, something with a nice bail on like that. Um, now, this is my last item to share with you, and... This is, oh, we're going to call that one a seven and a half. This is sterling silver and blue topaz. 
and whatever amazing stones are on this side. Um, it's, they're all gemstones. Uh, Shalina buys um, large quantities of jewelry, like a lot of you, online. And um, she won this ring in one lot. And then she said she saw a separate lot that had these. So she had to, she had to win the other lot. <laughs> um, and she got these and they're, it's just an amazing set. She showed me this ring. She did the Google image search on this ring and you can do the same if you want to. Um, this ring alone was selling, well, they were asking $250 just for the ring by itself. It is signed, uh, I think it's STS, she said. The ring, it just says 925. And yeah, it, and the earring, the stem says STS 925. So I don't know who designed it, but Look at the construction. Look at that work that went into making this piece. Gorgeous. And these, and that color, um, that color is just stunning. Uh, but yes, they are testing as topaz more than likely lab created, I'm sure. Maybe, I, I mean, I'm no expert, I don't know. I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Don't ever listen to me. But, look at that color, oh my, beautiful. So that was everything that I bought yesterday. That's it, that's all, hope you all had a ball. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite thing was. Um, leave me a like and, be sure and subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you know when I do my next video or go live. Um, all of these things and probably a lot more will be available on Sunday. Holy smokes, I've been on here 42 minutes. Peace. Goodbye.